soon with the help of this question i will try to explain how you will find angles x and y components of forces and finally how we will find the resultant of forces the basic concept is that first you need to find out what are the angles of this question here you can see no angles are given to you but you can apply the basic of trigonometry that you know perpendicular upon base is what tan theta so we know that uh, tan of theta equals to perpendicular upon base and from here we can find out theta equals to tan inverse perpendicular upon base so let us found angle of each force is one by one first let's consider for the angle for the force 145 newton i assume here this one as theta 1 this one as theta 2 and this one as theta 3 okay let us found the value of theta 1 so for theta 1 we have perpendicular what 2000 so tan inverse 2000 and base you can see 2100 so the value of theta 1 is 43.6 degree so this is what 43.6 degree let us found angle for force 250 newton means theta 2 equals to tan inverse perpendicular is 2400 upon base 700 so the value of theta 2 is 73.2 seven four okay now let us find the value for force 225 newton for this i have assumed the value of theta as theta 3 so theta 3 equals to tan inverse okay what we have base and perpendicular so we have base as 1200 and perpendicular 2250 so the value of theta 3 is 61.92 we have find successfully the angles now with the help of these angles we will find the x and y component of the forces so let's start with the force 149 newton for force 149 newton fx equals to what what is the value of this force in x direction whenever this inclined force given we have to split it into its vertical and horizontal component that is we have to find the values of it x and y components the most important aspect is where we need to write cos and sine the students usually get confused so the important instructions that i am going to give you that always remember that the front side of the theta or the angle will be cos front side will be cos front side to the angle will be what cos 
and opposite to the theta will be the sine remember it so let's find the values of component of x and y for force 145 newton let us find in x direction so fx equals to what in x direction the value of 145 is 145 cos cos what is the value of theta 1 43.6 okay 43.6 how you will find this value with the help of calculator let us see so what we need to find 145 cos 43.6 so this is what one four one four five then cos of what forty three point six okay so we have the value is fx equals to one hundred 12.30 newton sorry sorry there was some mistake in calculator again i am finding value of fx for the force 145 so let us see 145 cos 43.6 equals to 105 so the value of the x component of force 145 is 105 newton now let us see in y direction what is the value of 45 newton for this we will write fy equals to what 145 sine 43.6 so this is equals to 100 newton if y equals to 100 newton fx equals to 105 newton similarly you will solve x and y component for other forces for force 250 newton fx equals to 25 cos theta to 73.74 so fx equals to 70 newton is there any mistake yes there is big mistake you have to always mention the quadratic rule here. What? This. This is plus, this is plus, this is minus, and this is minus. So, what is this? X component of 250 is, here you can see from figure, it is in negative direction. So, we need to put negative sign. So, if x equals to se minus 70 Newton f y equals to so this is what f y 250 sine of 73.74 and the direction is positive so f y equals to 250 sine 73.74 that is equals to 240 newton now for the force 255 newton fx equals to 255 sorry 255 cos theta 3 equals to 61.92 61.92 why i have not put negative sign here you can see from here the 
x component of 255 newton forces in positive direction okay so fx equals to 120 newton and similarly fy equals to what here negative direction so i will put negative sign here 255 sine 61.92 so fy equals to minus 225 newton we have finally find out the values of the x and y component of the forces given in this figure for resultant you need to apply this formula r equals to root under root x square upon y square find the resultant of this force by yourself if you need any help contact me personally for more info join our channel thank you and one thing how you will apply inverse in the scientific calculator let us see here for this you need to press shift button then input your value whether you need to find sine cos inverse tan inverse or anything else so i am going to choose tan inverse you can see 2 upon 5 so i have got this value what we need to do for inverse press shift then your command then the sides okay so here is the value we will meet in next video soon till bye bye and take care Thank you.